Hey right, guys, while I'm out here in the woods, I thought I'd do a little uh, a little review to show you guys uh, something that I mentioned a couple weeks ago. Um, I bought this piece of gear from Tato Gear or Tanto Gear. I'll put it down below so you guys will know where it's at. Um, I mainly bought this to use in my kayak, but it's going to turn out to be a really versatile piece of equipment. It's a uh, element wood stove you guys might have heard of it the uh, the little pouch I had it in doesn't come with it um, I, I think they have one you can buy for like 10 or 12 bucks and uh, you can get a, a little case to put it in but I picked this up at uh, Walmart or somewhere but it's real cool it's uh it's a laser cut it's made the one I got is made out of stainless steel and I think it weighs uh, I think the site said it weighs eight ounces which is nothing uh, but it's pretty I don't know the thickness of it but it's pretty stiff for the thickness that it is and as you can tell I've been testing it out and uh, it uh, it works pretty good and the way you put this together is you have a bottom fire great and you just put it there and it just kind of folds together and you have a little pin and you just pull this little stainless steel pin out and it goes together pretty good And that's it this side has a little uh, flap on it I've used I've put longer sticks in where I could just slide it in and feed the fire um, I've also used it to get a little bit of air up in there uh, you can put wood in from here and it's got holes in the bottom so it gets a lot of ventilation coming up through to give it some air and uh, I decided I was going to make a little cup of coffee and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to be showing a lot of this um, in my videos in the, the next coming future months uh, on my canoe trip or kayak trips. And uh, so that's why you guys already know what I'm doing. And I'm actually using two different things. Um, this one. I got this from uh, Wilderness Outfitters on Dave Canterbury's website, and uh, these things work great. If you know, I know you can make a lot of fire starters, and you know, you guys know I make a lot of my own fire starters. But I wanted something that would be a little more versatile. You know, if I wanted to boil water, I can actually boil water with this. But today, just to, so you guys could see it comes in a nice little aluminum container which you can use to you know char cloth or whatever store something in later on the the little stove comes with some things that you use to sit your cup on and you guys will see that in just a second I'm gonna use it to fluff this up now I'm gonna use this just as a our fire starter so you guys can see how it works and so far I mean I've tried it it is waterproof let's see how this is gonna work yeah that'll work all right I get my cup and my bottle Hey, we're getting really lucky. The wind's starting to die down. All right, and as you guys can see, I use my own fire striker, fire steels, 
this was the act the actual very first one I ever made and of course now they look a whole lot better than this one but it works good so I don't want to get rid of it just get some some small sticks and I could actually boil my water with that mini inferno I picked up from Dave Canterbury's website but I want to play around my little stove here Okay guys, if you'll hold on a second, we'll be right back when we get this all set up and ready to boil some water. Alright guys, I'm putting the uh, little cup supports on it. I guess you could put this on before you get the fire going good, but I wanted you guys to see how it goes on there. And I just set my cup there and let's get it a boiling. We'll be back in a few minutes. Water's heated up and I'm ready to make my coffee. I thought I'd let you guys see how my fire steel works. This thing, it's, I like it short. It's only about an inch and a quarter longer than the, the wood. And I use it for, uh, for backpacking just to be a little smaller. But the one that I use at home that's bigger throws a lot more uh, fire start sparks than this one does. But this one throws out some serious molten. You can see it. They, these steels I use are not the cheap stuff. You can tell if you if you look at the cheap ones, they'll just be like a sparkler throwing out sparks. A good one is gonna throw out molten molten metal and you can actually see it burning when it hits the ground. So anyway guys, uh, well, we'll put this up. This wasn't the uh, reason for the video. Uh, but these little uh, element wood stoves, check it out if you guys enjoy. I mean, like today, it's too soon to make our fire. It's only 4 o'clock and uh, we don't want to start burning our wood yet. So, uh, like a case now, you know, it works great. I can use a little bit of small wood to heat up my water and, uh, and have some coffee. And, you know, it uses little pieces, burns up quick, but it's still fun to, you know, play in the fire. You guys know that. Anyway, uh, we'll get back at you in a little while.